a sound at a glance. Hi everyone. Many times we can see that the questions being asked in a PSC interview or this type of interviews, state level government examinations, like that, how much you know about your state? How much you know about your Assam? So we have to know some important facts that we usually used to ignore. So by considering those points of view, I'm here by presenting this lecture to you. I hope that this will help you to prepare for such type of examinations and interviews like APS interview. So let's start. Assam at a glance. The capital of Assam is this four. The largest city is Guwahati. The number of districts currently we have in Assam is 35. Total area of Assam is 78,438 kilometer square latitude 24 degree north from to 28 degree north remember latitude is 24 degree north to 28 degree north longitude is 90 degree east to 96 degree east then as per the 2011 census the population of assam is 3.12 crore so these facts you should not forget now with this we are going to discuss some other points like as we all know, Assam is situated in the northeast of India and is the largest northeastern state in terms of population, while in terms of area, it is the second largest. So the largest in terms of population, but the area-wise, it is the second. And it covers, already I have seen that it covers an area of 78,438 kilometers square. Then this state means our Assam is bordered by Bhutan and the state of Arunachal Pradesh to the north, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur to the east, then Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram and Bangladesh to the south, West Bengal to the west. It will be more clear if we go to the map. Let's look at the map. You can see here that at the north, what we have, Bhutan, Arunachal Pradesh, right? So Bhutan obviously is an uh, international border that is being shared. So Bhutan is an international country, obviously it's another country, so it's an international border. But the other states at the north is Arunachal Pradesh. And in the east, we can see what? Nagaland, Manipur, right? And uh, Ornasal Pradesh, some part is also can be seen here because the Ornasal Pradesh is the very big, is the, in fact, the biggest state of um, as I mean, Northeast. So it is shared both the North and East part. So North part is also an East part, Eastern part also you can see Nagaland, Ornasal Pradesh and Manipur. And in the South part, Meghalaya, Tipura and Mizoram and of course an international border with Bangladesh. So Bangladesh lies at the southern. If you go to the um, in, in uh, clear uh, direction or you can say that the correct direction, then it will be obviously this side west and this side south, somewhere between west south. But now we can refer it as a south. So Bangladesh is situated at the southern side of Assam and then other states, Meghalaya, Nipura, and Mizoram. Then West Bengal at the west. Most importantly, currently we know that uh, some very uh, uh, highlands conditions is been going on in Manipur. So we have to know that what are those states, uh, districts, sorry, of Assam that is sharing, they are sharing border with Manipur. And that states which are sharing border with Manipur are Kasar, Dimahaso. You can see here, this is Dimahaso and Dimahasao, and this is Kasar. In fact, in with Mizoram, the bordering districts are Karimganj, Hoel Hailakandi, and Kasar. And in Tupura, Karimganj. And uh, Bangladesh, we can see here Kasar and Karimganj. So it is clear now? Okay, let's come back to here. Now, a significant geographical aspect of Assam is that it contains three of six physiographic divisions of India. So here we have three geographical, or we can say physiographical,
geographic division. What are they? First, Northern Himalayas, Eastern Hills, Northern Plains, our Brahmaputta Plains, and the Deccan Plateau, Karbi Anglong. Do not forget that Karbi Anglong is just an extension of Meghalaya Plateau, right? And Meghalaya Plateau originally is a part of Deccan Plateau. So we all we have three physiographic division. I'm repeating again: Northern Himalayas, Eastern Hills, Northern Plains, Brahmaputta, and the Deccan Plateau. Now, if we talk about the climate of Assam, it is somewhat tropical monsoon rainforest climate. Remember, tropical monsoon rainforest climate with high levels of humidity and heavy rainfall. People here enjoy a moderate climate all throughout the year with warm summers, mild winters, and spring season is March to April, autumn is September to October. They are usually pleasant with moderate rainfall and temperature. Here, the mix problem is that we have a high level of humidity. So, if although the temperature is like 35 degree, we will feel like 40 to 41 like that. Okay. Now, spring season, you got it, March to April and autumn, September September to October, where we are experiencing pleasant with moderate rainfall and temperature. But obviously, nowadays, it is being changed a little bit because of climate change. And we already got to know that as part of census 2011, our population is 3.12 crore. Population of Assam forms 2.58 percent of India in 2011 means in the last census the whole population of India whatever India has it is being shared around 2.58 percent 2.58 percent by Assam now Assam uh, total populations we got it that 3.12 crore out of which males are somewhat this number around 1.5 and females are again 1.5 so almost 1.5 crore 1.5 crore both males and females although uh, males numbers are a little bit more than females then total area we have seen 78,438 kilometers square and most important fact is that population density of Assam is 398 per kilometer square 398 per kilometer square and that is higher than 382 per kilometer square. So our population density is 398 per kilometer square, right? And our India's means nation's average is 382 per kilometer square. So ours one is more than or higher than national average of population density. That is 382 per kilometer square national average and ours one is 398. Now, Assam is is the major indigenous and official language, while Bengali is the official language in three districts in the Barak Valley. We all know we have Brahmaputta Valley and Barak Valley. In Barak Valley, Bengali language is the most prominent one. Now, Assam also has number of schools with English as the medium of education. As part of the language census of 2011, a total of around how much you can see it here? It is almost around 1.53 crore. People use Assamese language as the mother tongue. And language is ranked 12 among the 22 civil languages spoken in India. So the number of speakers, the number of speakers of Assam is, uh, we have seen around 1.53 crore who are using Assamese as mother tongue and the as part of rank wise it is 12 Assamese language is 12 out of the 22 civil languages again most important point is that our total literacy rate is 72.19 percent as per 2011 census and male literacy rate is 77.85%. Female literacy rate is 66.27%. I'm repeating again. Our total literacy rate is 72.19%. And male literacy rate is 77.85%. Female is 66.27%. We can see that it means... Uh, 
female literacy rate is comparatively lesser than the male literacy rate. Although we are talking about 2011 census studies. Okay. Now, as part of 2011 census, we have seen our three point population is 3.12 crore. Now, this total population has increased from around 2.66 crore to 3.12 crore in the last 10 years with a growth rate of 16.90. So, within 10 years, the growth rates can be seen from to see that 2.66 crore to 3.12 crore. Growth rate is how much? 16.93%. And the total population is expected to reach around 34.18 million by 2021 and 35.60 million by 2026. If we talk about those districts which are having higher population concentration, then they are Kamrup, Nogao, Sunitpur, or Sunitpur, Borpeta, Thuburi, Dorong, Kasar. Repeating again, Kamrup, Nogao, Sunitpur, Borpeta, Thuburi, Dorong, Kasar. These are the districts which are showing higher population concentration. <clears throat> okay, now let's talk about national natural resources. Assam is very rich in natural resources. And the natural resource can be classified under the following heads like minerals, forest, water, and agricultural resources. Minerals, forest, water, and agricultural resources. And this, this, uh, this particular classification actually shows us that the number or you can say the amount is qualit uh, quantitatively higher than that's why it makes Assam is very rich in natural resources. And also, Assam is having a very good or the richest biodiversity zones in the world. Consists of tropical rainforest, deciduous forest, riverine glassland, bamboo orchards, and numerous wetland ecosystems. So, uh, from the biodiversity point of view also, biodiversity or we know now, with the people uh, we uh, we are interacting different species right so biodiversity different type of species in the bio right so different types of species flora fauna so, so from that point of view also assam is one of the richest diversity zone and it has tropical rainforest so we have tropical rainforest also deciduous forests, river and glasslands, bamboo orchards, and numerous wetland ecosystems. We all know that the Port Bill is one of the uh, very more, you can say, most important wetland of Northeast India, or even, uh, of course, uh, for Assam also. It is also one of the recognized Ramsar site. Now, Assam is also famous for its abundant forest resources. A large part of Assam is covered by hills and forests, and these hills and forests contain valuable trees in large quantities. First of all, important is that holong tree, our state tree. Ami kaun hoy? Amar state tree ki hoy? Holong tree. So, holong tree is also known as dipto, diptarocarpus macrocarpus. Diptarocarpus macrocarpus. Those who are preparing for Assam Forest Service exam, you have to know the scientific names of this, some of the important trees like Holong tree. Okay, remember Diptarocarpus macrocarpus. Then Assam is remarkably rich in orchid species and Marcopophul, that is foxtail orchid, that is Rhinocostylis retusha is the state flower. Okay, Kopopul or Porkstel orchid is the state flower. Recently established Kasinonga National Orchid and Biodiversity Park boasts more than 500 of the estimated 1,314 orchid species found in India. Assam, which is west area under hills and forests, is home to a variety of medicinal plants and herbs about 300 types of medical herbs and plants are found in abundance in the state with Brahmaputta Valley alone having 150 varieties of herbs and plants of commercial value. 
if you have appeared for this time APSC mains examination, I hope you can recall that there is a question of biodiversity of Assam. There you can mention this fact that Assam is very rich in uh, plural spawners and in fact the medicinal plant we have seen 300 types of medicinal herbs and plants are there and around 500 orchid species found and also we can see that different types of forests like tropical rainforest then serious rainforest riverine glassland bamboo orchards wetland ecosystem all these are found in assam it which makes assam both from the point of economical or you can say commercial value, or also from, from, from the point of what? By diversity point of view, they make Assam a very rich state. Now, uh, Assam, if we talk about with respect to wildlife sanctuaries, then two most important or prominent UNESCO World Heritage Sites are Kaziranga National Park and Manas Wildlife Sanctuaries. Okay, so don't forget that we have two UNESCO um, uh, heritage sites. They are Kajironga and Manan. We have seven national parks. What are they? Kajironga National Park, Manas National Park, Dipruzoika National Park, Nameri National Park, Orang National Park, and <coughs> Tiger Reserve, sorry, the Hingpatkai National Park, and Raimona National Park. Kajironga, no need to mention. I hope you all know about this wonderful national park. It is being uh, one of the most important site for the Huanorn Rhino. Okay, then we know different floras and faunas here. Now, again, another national parks like Manas, you can see here Bhutan is bordered with Bhutan, Bongaigao district, Borpeta district. Then we have a uh, pygmy hawk, one of the very rare species found in Manas and other cats are also there. Cats means big cats are there. Then we have uh, other national parks like I just mentioned, what? The Bruce Oika National Park. And one most important fact about this the Bruce Oika National Park is that what? You can see wild horses here. Right. It is situated in the Tinchukia district. Here you can see Tinchukia district. Now, again, you can see this type of uh, species like white wing, wood duck, deoha, right? Gangetic dolphins, feral horses. Huh? These horses are known as feral horses. They are found in the Brusica National Park. Then Nameri National Park. Nameri National Park is located in Shinishonit District, bordering with Ornasal Pradesh. Also, the core area of Nameri Tiger Reserve. So this is also a tiger reserve. Then uh, one more and another one is the Orang National Park and Tiger Reserve. From the name itself, it is very clear that it is also a tiger reserve. So from there, you can see that it is the oldest game reserve of the state, oldest game reserve of the state, just on the northern bank of the river Brahmaputta, with an area of 78.80 kilometers square and an important breeding grounds of varieties for of fishes. So this Orang National Park, first two point is that it is oldest game reserve. Second, it is an important breeding ground for variety of fishes. Then another one is the Hingpatkai National Park. You can here see that uh, this is the Afar Dihing rainforest and then Jaipur and this. So this national park means the Hingpatkai National Park. I hope you all may, might recall this. It is in news. It covers an area of around 111.19 kilometers square located in the Brugger and Tinchukia district and is famous for Assam Valley tropical wet evergreen forest bordering with Ornasal products. And it is also a part of the Hingpatka Elephant Reserve, having the World War II cemeteries nearby, alongside with the Steel Well Road and the oldest refinery of Asia in Digboy and open cast coal mining at Lido. So these are the important information that you have to know about the Hingpatka National Park. First area you have seen 111.19 kilometers square. 
located in Dibugor and Tinchukia district, famous for because this is also known as one of means uh Assam or you can say Eastern Amazon forest of India. And it is bordering with Ornasal Pradesh and part of the Dihing Patka Elephant Reserve, having the World War II cemeteries nearby, and also along with Steelwell Road and oldest refinery of SEI and Digboy, open cast coal mining at Lido. Okay, the it is type of animals you can see clouded Lido part. Then this is orchid. Okay. So and another one, I think we, I have covered all of them. So uh, this this important information you all have to know. So what next? What next we will discuss? Yes, one. This Raimona National Park. Uh, here you can see that this is border here. Uh, you can see the red dot here. It is bordering also with Bhutan. This side West Bengal we have Ripu Rainforest. And then this side, Shirang Reserve Forest. Okay. So West Bengal, Bhutan, Ripu, and Shirang. Now, one question. Today, I think it will be better to uh, close or you can time in uh, means stop here because we need to discuss some of the important information, but the class will be more length here. So I'll stop here. We'll discuss the rate of rest of the points in the next class. What I have discussed today, very important. Revise them, listen it once. Again, try to revise them. And then listen the next part. One question I would like to ask that what, in which district we have, in which district or districts we have Raimona National Park? And in which year, this national park being declared as national park. Okay. In which year we had, Assam had the Raimana National Park. So let's close the class here. We'll see in the next lecture the another information that we have to know. Okay. Bye-bye. Joy. -bye.